I am here to show you um, a teaching hack that I have discovered from, from um, recording uh, lessons for remote teaching that I'm so super excited about. It took me a long time to figure this out, so I'm sharing it in case it might be helpful um, to you as you are recording um, remote lessons um, for your students. So first of all, what um, the way that I'm recording this right now is I just have the photo booth app open on my computer. I'm not recording it, I just have it up and it is recording me. Then I selected QuickTime Player. Um, I went up here and I selected screen recording and opted to have my whole screen um, recorded so that you'd be able to see the steps of what I was doing as I walked you through this. So, so excited to share this. Um, first of all, I figured out how to make a document camera um, using cans and things I have around the house and, and my phone. And so this is my very fancy document camera. It is a can of um, beans and a can of big beans and my cell phone. I'm using these little people clips because they're really strong and they help anchor my phone to the top of the can. And then I'm using this pencil right here to stick it under the feet of the little people to really um, kind of like cantilever that out a little bit more over the can and give me a really um, good angle. So voila, that is my document camera. And I'm just using my regular charging cord, the USB to go into my computer. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to turn that on. Um, I saw a lot of people who were using um, this document camera hack and they were use either, using either Google Hangouts or Zoom calls. And what they were doing was, was what they were doing was creating um, a Hangout and being the host and then inviting themselves through um, another email on their phone and then accepting the meeting on the phone and then both would pop up on the screen, which is awesome. But what I found was when I was trying to record that, only the host records. So if you're using your document camera to project, you know, something, uh, writing that you're doing or creating an anchor chart, you're only left with yourself. So this is the workaround um, that I've come up with and like, so excited. <laughs> so excited. Um, so here's what you do to get your document camera to show up on your screen. You go back to make sure you have QuickTime open and then you go to, uh, you select file and you say new movie recording. And then this little window is going to pop up and you need to click down right here and select your, um, your phone. So here's my phone. Now my phone is not on so I just turn my phone on and my phone is showing up on the screen. I'm so excited. Sorry guys, I'm so excited. I've been working, working on this for um, a long time. <laughs> um, so flip your phone on and then go to your camera and look at that. Whatever is under your document camera, your um, phone quickly becomes your document camera. This is so, so exciting. Um, so if you're teaching live, then you're kind of good to go. Um, I'm trying to come up with a series of lessons. And like I told you, the, the Zoom hack and the using Google Meet wasn't working for me. So this is what um, how I figured out how to do it. I try to get my screens kind of lined up. So there's me. Actually, this is more important, like that I can push this over so that I'll see myself and my underneath my document camera and then you go back up to make sure QuickTime Player is on and say file and then you would do a new screen uh, a screen recording I'm obviously screen recording so this isn't going to go right now but pretend that I'm not you would click right here screen recording and then it gives you an option to record your whole screen or to just record a portion of your screen and this is a beautiful thing because you would just click in the corner click and drag and you would highlight and you would end up with this video that's just yourself. Hi everyone, hi boys and girls, I'm so excited to see you. And what's on your document camera, womp, 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 right there. Um, so that's all there is to it. Um, I hope that this is helpful. I'm super excited to share it with you. And um, if you have questions, you can certainly ask me. Um, I'll do my best to answer them, but again, not a super tech expert, just like all the rest of you trying to figure out the best ways um, to make this work. So have a great day, everyone. Hope this was helpful um, and um, take, take really good care.